Welcome dear 1000 PS2 B viewers. Our playmates today are the A1 retro hits from Honda. The Axe, Monkey and Super Cub. Of course we could have done a dead serious test. But we do it the Austrian way. Stay tuned, it will be a fantastic video. It goes wild at Honda and that already since the 1950s. Although CUB, as Honda's most built vehicle 2017, the 100 million unit mark was cracked. At its market debut in 1958, was still called for cheap urban bike. Cub also refers in English to a freshly born carnivorous mammal. The animal connections continued in 1960 with the Honda Monkey and in 1967 with the Honda Dax German for Dax Hunt. All three historic beasts shared a 50 cubic single cylinder engine and the nimbus of indestructibility. For 2023, after the Monkey and Super Cup, the Dax Hunt has now also been revived. He is allowed to borrow the engine, chassis, and suspension from the Monkey and the semi automatic four speed gearbox from the Super Cup. As with its sibling models, the engine displacement has also grown to an impressive 125 cubic centimeters. In order to be able to legally put the power of the three Hondas of just under 10 horsepower on the road, a Class of 1 driver's license is now required. Alternatively, car license holders in Germany can enjoy the small animal motorcycles by means of the B196 edition of training, or in Austria with the code 111. Let's move on to the practical suitability of the three musketeers. Even if the three bikes seem dainty by today's standards, compared to their forebears they can almost be described as huge. Thus, two-person operation is also planned and possible on the DAX and Super Cup as long as you don't have any sporting ambitions. When it comes to storage space, even the Super Cup has to make concessions compared to modern scooters. Nevertheless, the three bikes with their low weight, Monkey 104 kg, Dax 107 kg, Super Cub 110 kg, all fully fueled determined on the incorruptible 1000 PS cow scale, are practical. Thus, due to their small dimensions, they can easily be taken along on the back of the motorhome or other vehicles with an appropriate drawbar load on the trailer coupling and used at the destination as a means of transport for the last kilometers to the beach or to the next town. It is usually sufficient to fill up the 5.6 liter tank on departure, and the incredibly low fuel consumption enables ranges of more than 300 kilometers. There is no need for illusions regarding acceleration, and top speed, 11 newton meters and just under 10 horsepower are not values that are enough for victory in the quartet. Due to the low weight, however, you are at least no obstacle at the traffic lights for the cars you just effortlessly cheated past. Depending on the driver's size, and wait, all three reach the 100 km per hour mark sooner or later. So you can definitely plan for overland stages, or a few. However, caution is advised during overtaking maneuvers. Speed differences of 20 km per hour can be realized in the slipstream of the truck, but if you then overtake, you can observe the decay of the built-up speed surplus on the speedometer. At the latest at the level of the driver's cabin, it becomes tough and possibly risky, since a 40-ton truck has generously dimensioned blind spots in which you can easily disappear in the saddle of the small Hondas. So it's better to turn off the throttle a bit and enjoy the landscape. The prices for Honda Super Cup, Monkey and Dax are ambitious at first glance. However, if you consider the high-quality workmanship, 
and attention to detail with which Honda has considered the small vehicles and take a look at the good value retention of older models. Of which other 125 bikes on the market can only dream the acquisition costs are put into perspective. In addition to the already mentioned low consumption, the costs for tax and insurance are extremely low. As with all two-wheelers, parking tickets in short-stay parking zones are usually not required. The small space requirement of the three retro 125 bikes allows you to find a place almost anywhere. The tires last forever due to the low load from the drive, and wearing parts and service costs are also low. So you can get through the year well even on a small budget. The Honda ST125 DAX, as the DAX Hunt is called by its full name, was introduced in 2022 and has been available for a short time. The semi-automatic with four-speed steps is for motorcyclists, initially get used to there is, after all, a reverse shifting scheme and no clutch, aggravating the fact that the DAX in contrast to the Super Cub without gear indicator must get along. But hundreds of millions of buyers of this system in Asia can't be wrong. For buyers who change from the car, the entrance and the learning of this transmission operation is surely easier than that of a conventional motorcycle transmission. For example, it is virtually impossible to let the engine die. Not quite optimal is the readability of the small LC display, which was taken over from the monkey. There also the playful animation does not help when activating the ignition. Honda does not display a speed indicator, so the noise of the small single cylinder is the only indicator of a gear change. Experienced pilots will have no problem with this, but for beginners it is probably more difficult to judge when it would be advisable to engage the next higher gear. The seating position on the DAX Hunt is tolerable even for taller pilots, and the long seat gives you plenty of freedom of movement on the bike. The tires of the 12 inches in the dimensions allow folding down to the rests, as we found out during our excursion to the Supermoto track. The small maneuverable DAX Hunt simply makes a lot of fun and is the right choice for all those who would like the monkey in principle, but want the possibility now and then to take a passenger. The iconic monkey was the first classic model in the family that Honda brought back to life. Since 2018, it has been back in the lineup as a 125cc, which means we already have a few reviews of the Honda Monkey 125 online, and I'll keep this paragraph rather short. As a fleet vehicle from 2018 to 2020, it has earned a fixed place in the heart of the 1000 PS editorial team. There is probably hardly a more accessible motorcycle on the market. For the 2022 model year, Honda donated a fifth gear, which is designed as an overdrive to lower the speed level on longer stages. The motorcycle transmission also allows wonderful first wheel attempts, which can be easily initiated with the monkey. It has to put up with the criticism of the display like the DAX Hunt. But at the latest after the first friendly faces on the roadside have smiled at you and you have made yourself really comfortable in the monkey's comfortable single seat, you forgive it anyway everything. The most practical part of the trio, and descendant of the legendary Honda Cups of the 1950s, has been revived by Honda for Europe 2019. Initially designed as a single-seater, there is now a full-fledged pillion seat. In terms of driving dynamics, it scores particularly well in terms of the stability provided by its large wheels. The grip with the tires in these dimensions, however, is finite. A certain amount of caution is advised, especially on slippery surfaces or in the rain. Speaking of bad weather, the apron at the front offers a satisfactory level of wind and weather protection that pilots of Monkey and Dax can only dream of. The speedometer unit consists of an analog speedometer and a small digital display that prominently houses the gear indicator. Without offering anything spectacular, it puts its 125 cubic centimeter siblings to shame in this category. One feature that not many A1 bikes offer either is the keyless go system. The key can therefore remain casually in the pocket when parked in front of the cafe. Controversial, the Super Cub offers a main stand, which makes parking in front of the cafe a little less casual. On the other hand, such a main stand facilitates work such as chain lubrication of course significantly. Conclusion on the Honda Super Cup C125 2023 Honda continues to position the Super Cup C125 in our latitudes as a stylish piece of jewelry, while in Asia it is used as the ultimate workhorse and packhorse. Its everyday utility is still limited by the lack of storage space under the seat, but now it can be used in two-man operation without any problems and really well, too. The suspension proves to be surprisingly robust even when massively exceeding the permissible payload. 
but remains comfortable, the engine pulls agilely in combination with the 4-speed semi-automatic transmission and the brakes decelerate reliably as is typical for Honda. The big trump card is the unique look, which lifts the Super Cub into the ranks of the usually more expensive 125 cubic centimeters noble scooters and motorcycles. Conclusion on the Honda Monkey 125 2023 if you look for the word joy in the dictionary, a picture of the Honda Monkey 125 should appear right next to it. It is the perfect motorcycle for those who do not take themselves too seriously and are looking for a cult fun bike. Because no matter how exhausting the day was at work, school, etc., a short ride on the Honda Monkey 125 makes you forget everything quickly. But don't be shy, because no other A1 bike is such a magnet for curious looks that quickly turn into big grins. The Honda Monkey 125 is synonym for fun on two wheels. Conclusion on the Honda DAX 125 2023 The DAX Honda is back. The animal fun machine for two from the house of Honda is an absolute eye-catcher. Whether A1 driving license, code 111 or B196, the hurdle to overcome to enjoy the DAX is low. The semi-automatic is unusual for motorcyclists, but still practical. The compact lightweight finds its place everywhere and is frugal in consumption. Welcome back on the decks. Thanks for watching this fun test. Subscribe to our channel, then you will not miss any videos and leave a like if you want to.